And hello to this. This is the final installation of the Fesser 120 millimeter radiator, which is right here, which is in combination with the Swiftec dual 120 millimeter radiator, which is up here. The installation of this radiator gave us a decrease of 8 degrees centigrade from the original benchmarks we did earlier. Installation is complete except for the final mounting of the pump. Still a little bit of uh, tweaking here. But once, that's, once that's done, we will mount that permanently with a silencer pad on the bottom here to minimize vibration. The Fesser has a 120 millimeter fan on it which has been slowed down with a resistor to 7 volts, minimized noise. The Fesser is designed for high flow water liquid with low airflow. So we could do that. We could increase our decrease of centigrade temperature by increasing the fan motor speed, but we've decided not to do strictly for noise. Also, we do have the installation of the waterfall. Which is a flow indication that indicates that the pump is working and liquid is traveling through the system. And then a little inside view, see so if we have enough light. There is the EK reservoir, waterfall, along with the Swiftec 240 radiator. Again, from a different angle. Oh, can't miss the Swiftec Apogee XT water block which gave us a decrease of 3 degrees centigrade over the GTX Apogee water block. Excellent water block. So between this and the heat killer, we don't want the Apogee. And one more shot of the new Fesser, 120 millimeter. Look at the thickness of that radiator. It's almost 2 inches compared to the Swiftec, which is approximately 3 quarters of an inch. Fesser. If there would be another modification of the case, it would be to replace the Swiftec dual 120 miller with a dual Fesser radiator. And one more shot of the waterfall indicates 